Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Monster Hunter World for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. Monster Hunter World is an action role-playing game developed by Capcom. The game sees you travel as part of a fleet to the new world, an untamed wilderness with a wide variety of monsters to hunt. The game can be played solo or via an online co-op system. So what is the game like to play? Well you start by creating your unique character and it's a pretty detailed and in-depth system allowing for some pretty unique creations. Then you're thrust into a lengthy prologue featuring one of the most annoying tutorials I've ever encountered, not helped by your teammates' incessant requests to follow them. The main base of operations is in Astera, a hub where you can find quests, team up with other players, use the store, smithy, canteen or do a variety of other activities. But soon enough you'll be free to explore on open-ended expeditions or take on a series of quests where you'll be hunting down large monsters. Speaking of monsters, boss fights take place over cycles, as in you find the boss, attack it until you deplete its energy, then it runs away at which point you have to track it down before it regenerates. Fight it and repeat this cycle a few more times until the monster is no more. The variety of monsters is very impressive with T-Rex types, dragons, large birds and many other cool variations all with their own special attacks. And because the monsters are so durable it's not uncommon for boss fights to take 20 minutes plus which you know can get a bit monotonous as sometimes it seems like the monster will never die. But once they do die, you can loot the corpse for special resources and those can be used to craft new weapons and new sets of armor at home base. One thing I'd say is that Monster Hunter is a bit daunting at first with lots to learn and take in. There's a wealth of statistics, details and systems in place that are all linked to your progression and it will take a good few hours to get to grips with everything. But once you understand how it all works, the game is an immensely satisfying experience with a real interlinked sense of gameplay, as everything you collect has a real purpose. Your character has a private room where you can choose which weapon or armor you'd like to use. Other items include fishing poles, small nets to capture animals, gili suits for camouflage and a gliding jacket. The crafting system is very user friendly and you can even set auto crafting for potions and the like when you're out in the field. So as soon as you collect the ingredients it crafts it automatically which is a massive time saver and a fantastic feature. You can use special projectiles to get the attention of monsters or stun them depending on the effect of the item. And you can upgrade weapons, armor and even alter the pigment colors once you reach the late game. But you're not alone in Monster Hunter World, you have your trusty Palico to accompany you on missions or expeditions. Palicos are humanoid-like cats that assist you on your adventure and they are fully customizable also. Now, food plays a massive part in Monster Hunter and eating doesn't just give you health, it boosts your attributes and skills for a limited time. So you'll get used to having a slap up meal before heading out on a quest and the palicos in the canteen really do enjoy their work. Cooking can also be done in the field on a spit or at a campfire spread throughout the zones when you need a little pick me up in the middle of a boss fight. The game world is split into regions but it's not as traditionally open as other games. It's more like several smaller open world zones you can fast travel to. There are lush oceanside forests, arid deserts and weird and colourful places the deeper you venture into the new world. Quests have time restrictions but if you just want to chill and wander at your leisure you can go on an expedition. There are also arena fights but personally I found these to be a little bit underwhelming and are lacking the charm of the hunt. The world doesn't just look gorgeous, they are full of weird and wonderful creatures you can catch, hunt or just take photos with in the view mode. There are resources everywhere and all items have a purpose, but don't get too greedy as your pouch will fill up in no time. Lastly on gameplay, Monster Hunter was designed to be played with other players, but it can also be played solo. I did most of the main campaign on my own, but there were a few times I did have to send up an SOS flare to help me finish off one of those pesky bosses. I would say solo is a lot tougher and it takes a lot longer to kill those bosses, but it's perhaps a bit more satisfying when you do complete a hunt on your own. 
Playing with friends is excellent fun, although the initial matchmaking system is one of the worst I've ever encountered. It literally took me and a friend 45 minutes to figure out how to actually set up a co-op mission. I mean, we're not the brightest bunch, but we're really not that thick. It shouldn't take that long. It just shouldn't be that hard to have a multiplayer game. I really don't understand why developers don't make co-op matchmaking with your friends incredibly easy. It really should be. So that's a bit disappointing. But overall, it's a really well thought out game, intelligent design, no obvious holes in the actual gameplay structure, and it's a game that's more fun the more you play it. Graphically, the game has vibrant and gorgeous regions to explore, the character models look great, and the wide variety of armor makes it easy to create a unique look for your hunter. I didn't experience any graphical issues, and the game has a view mode, which is like a sort of a super minimal photo mode. The music is very twee and typical to these types of adventure games. The voice acting is up and down, but generally it's passable, sound effects and ambience are well handled, and the only major annoying audio feature was the over here part of the tutorial. Over here! Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's an immensely playable adventure game. The boss fights are exciting and varied. The character customization is excellent. It's got a great main campaign. It's fun whether played solo or with friends. The more you play, the more you'll enjoy it. And I never got bored once despite its repetitive nature. What's bad? The boss fights do feel a bit overly long. The tutorials aren't great. The menu system is overcomplicated and needs streamlining. And online play with friends was the most complicated thing to set up I think I've ever experienced in a recent game. Okay, so what is the verdict? Monster Hunter World is a sublime game that's entertaining, challenging, and charming in equal measure. Yes, it's a lot to take in at first, but once you get through that initial learning curve, it's a joy to play. It's complex, detailed, with deep game systems, good progression, and so many cool weapons and pieces of armor to create. Yes, there are some minor issues with repetition and a bit of a grindy feel to the boss fights, but each monster was a pleasure to fight and it really made you think and adapt to their strengths. I loved it, even though at first I wasn't completely convinced, but to be fair, it won me over the more I played it and it's, it's an extremely well-made game and it's one that really put a smile on my face. So my score for Monster Hunter World is 9.25 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.